Hello and welcome to another great deck tech here at Chuckwagon MTG. Today we are playing You Can Count On Me in Popper. So this is a Popper Proliferate deck. Uh, War of the Spark gave us a lot of uh, common cards with Proliferate triggers on them. And I've been messing with this deck for a while, trying to balance it. Um, it's, it's fairly competitive. I've, I've played it against some pretty high tier decks. I've won, I've lost, I've gone back and forth, so I'm constantly adjusting this. This is the version that I have right now, and this seems to work really well. It's, it's so much fun to play, and it's very, you know, it's very easy to play with the exception of one thing. Almost everything um, on the battlefield can be proliferated. Uh, your opponent, your lands, your uh, creatures, so you have to remember to scan the entire battlefield on things you want to proliferate. Um, so uh, I'll start with the land base because that's probably the most uh, unique thing about this. So from Mercadian Mass we have Hickory Woodlot and Saprazan Scary. Uh, these two lands uh, enter the battlefield tapped with uh, two depletion counters on them. When you run out of depletion counters you sacrifice the land but you're not going to run out of depletion counters. Um, with proliferate, with as much as you're proliferating, you're going to be refilling these two lands over and over again. Um, additionally, for the lands, uh, you have four basic lands, forests and islands. Um, for card draw, we have ponder, and uh, there's two additional card draw spells: uh, contentious plan, uh, which lets you proliferate and then draw a card, and steady progress. It's the same spell, just a, one more expensive. Uh, so you you have plenty of card draw. Your creatures, uh, servant of the scale, it enters with a one one counter on it. And after you proliferate it up a bunch, it, when it dies, you can transfer all those one one counters to a creature you control. Uh, Arcbound worker and Arcbound stinger. Uh, these are modular creatures, so you, they enter with a one one counter. You're going to proliferate those up into being big monsters, and they can transfer counters back and forth to each other when they die. Um, for uh, additional proliferate, uh, Pollen Bright Druid, uh, it's for one in a green, it enters. You can choose to either put a 1-1 counter on something or to proliferate. Most often, you're going to try to hit that proliferate trigger. And then the dreaded Blighted Agent. So Blighted Agent, for one in a blue, it's got Infect. It can't be blocked. Uh, you, you, can, you can try to put 1-1 counters on this with either Pollen Bright or Courage, uh, Courage in Crisis. But when you proliferate, you're going to proliferate that infect counter on your opponent as well. So you, that can um, uh, really start a clock on your opponent, especially if you maybe you got one infect, infect counter through and you're not drawing creatures and you're just drawing these contentious plans and uh, steady progress, courage in crisis, pollen bright. You can push, push towards that win condition even without creatures on the board. Uh, for removal... We have Rabid Bite. Uh, this will deliver damage to an opponent's creature equal to the power of one of your creatures, so it does no damage to your own. Um, so in the sideboard, uh, we have some things to kind of help you through. Tormod's Crypt for any Grave Recursion. Uh, intervene, counter target spell that targets a creature. You're, you're just worried about your creatures, so you want to protect them. If you're going up against a lot of burn, you can pull those in. Kazmina's Transmutation. I've gotten a lot of use out of this, especially um, uh, against uh, Grave Recursion decks that pull in uh, large creatures from the graveyard and put them on the battlefield. You can you can transmutate them, and they turn turn in lose all abilities and turn into the tiniest of tiny creatures. Return to nature to destroy artifacts, enchantments, and exile from the graveyard, and then Calming Verse. Uh, you destroy all enchantments you don't control, and then if you control an untapped land, destroy all enchantments you do control. So uh, this is just up against enchantment decks, enchantment-heavy um, uh, opponents. But that's the deck. Uh, it's so much fun to play. Give it a try. Uh, I enjoyed this uh, immensely, both competitively and for fun. Now I'm really curious uh, what addition subtractions you would make, uh, how you would change the deck, how you would alter it uh, for your meta. Is the sideboard good enough? Please let us know. 
Um, but that's the deck. Uh, now, if you like what you saw, uh, please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification so you can hear all about the crazy decks we put out in the future, and share this. Please share this with your friends, your family, your loved ones, your pets, because everyone can use a little more magic in their lives. Thanks for joining us.